an idea. My family would always bring back an ingredient called pinole that is popular as a drink because we could not find it anywhere here in the United States. A lot of runners in the U.S. were looking for it because of the book Born to Run. It was also hard to find stone ground tortillas like the ones from Mexico. I wanted to keep the traditional food recipes alive in a healthy way that made people remember the flavors from home that they couldn't get here. I told my professor about the idea and she introduced me to another student who would be able to help share my story. That's when our business, Pinole Blue, was born. We entered our university startup competition and took first place. Now we make drink mixes, cookies, and tortillas all from organic blue corn. Each order is packed with a sticker and a handwritten note. We are one of the only organic blue corn tortilla factories and one of the only organic blue corn pinole manufacturers in the United States. We only use simple ingredients, so our tortillas have to be shipped frozen because they have no preservatives. That hey guys, it's Aurora from West Maine, and I got a request from Lily to pack her order on video, so here it is. She ordered a pair of our daily leggings, so here they are. Someone asked if they were see-through, and here I am showing that they're not see-through. They're also extremely soft, and I know you guys will fall in love, so definitely check them out. Then, of course, I add a hang tag and wrap it in tissue paper, and of course, add a sticker. Then I'm adding extra goodies to her order and writing a thank you card for her. I then grab one of my mailer bags and put it in, but I'm super torn between these two designs. Let me know which one I should go with. It's Natalie from Darling Authority, and today we're packing up our best-selling Clara Rollette. First, I grab some tissue paper, fold up the roulette, and put it in the center. Then I wrap it together with a sticker. Next, we move on to our packing materials. So I grab these two postcards, a sticker. I grab this really cute butterfly one, as well as this pink scrunchie. Then I take all of those items, as well as the packing slip, and wrap them together in the scrunchie. Now, I ran out of my regular poly mailer bags, but I found these white envelopes that are actually greeting card envelopes that work perfectly for shipping bralettes, so I use that instead. I put a sticker on the back for that extra DA touch, throw the shipping label on there, and it's done. Hey guys, today I'm going to be making some jewelry for Mads Lewis. She's a TikToker and Instagrammer. Told me to surprise her, but she also told me that she liked butterflies and flowers. So I decided to make her the flirt necklace in pink and blue. I also decided to make her the silver wonderlust choker, the angel lover necklace, and the lock and go necklace. And finally, I made her the forever necklace. This is what all the jewelry looked like after I was done making them. Then I packaged the jewelry using some of our display cards. This was the final product of all the jewelry packaged up. I added in some tissue paper into a shipping box and added the jewelry into the box. Then I added in a jewelry care card and a handwritten note. Okay, so today I'm going to be using my soy wax because I'm making wax milk. Yesterday I used this, but it's too soft for wax melt, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now that my wax is all melted, I'm going to pick my strawberry shortcake fragrance. And I'm going to get some red dye. And I personally think strawberry shortcake is too strong, so I like to add cake in it. You add the red dye, add the fragrance all. These are my strawberry molds. Oops, haha, spilled it. Pop them out. Perfect. Today we did an order from Canada and this was a black and pink heart bands that were custom ordered. So I just packaged them up and yeah.
Hey guys, I wanted to show you the wet on wet printing process I've been using recently. It's really been a lifesaver because it cuts so much time off my printing process and it's just much more efficient to print this way. For a long time, I was scared to do this and not flash dry between layers because the stamp on the back of the screen can kind of cause this like fuzzy or like textured effect on the shirt. But after you run it through the conveyor dryer, you really can't even tell and it comes out looking really great. So hooray for teaching an old dog new tricks. Woo! Shooting flat lays for Depop. So first I prep a box with all the items I'm gonna shoot and then I grab my supply box. Inside I've got these shout wipes, I have my lint roller, some scissors for cutting off loose threads, and a measuring tape. I've also got a step stool, a pillow, and two sheets of two by three poster paper from the dollar store. If you guys plan on shooting larger items like hoodies and pants, I recommend getting four sheets and laying them all out into a square. So now I'm setting everything up on a hard flat surface in front of a natural light source. And I'm gonna start off with these shorts. Remember to shoot everything in square mode. So first I'll take photos of the front and then I'll take a photo of the tag. And then I'll take my measuring tape and line it up with the waistband, take a photo, and this way I can add in the actual waist measurement to my listing later. Then I'll flip them over and take a photo of the back. And don't forget to take photos of any flaws your item might have. And once I've got those, I move on to the next item and repeat it until I'm all done. Hey guys, as soon as you know, I haven't posted in a video in a while, but I am back and I'm trying. So I am pregnant and sometimes the smell of monomer just makes you want to puke, just like everything else in the house. But I'm working on it and I decided I felt good today to make a video. So I don't really have like a lavendery color so I wanted to make one. And it actually did not come out how I wanted it to. I don't know if these two acrylics just don't mix well together or what. But it still came out pretty cute so um, I went ahead and put it on the nail. Which it came out to be more of like a white marbly purple you could say lavender -y. so when I put on the nail it looked good but it looked too white so I decided to make it a marble theme so I grabbed some more of the purple and kind of just made it a little extra watery and put it all over the nail like so and then afterwards I put my decals on it to make it a little extra sparkle and put a top coat on it it looks super cute thanks This is everything I use to make my stickers and t-shirts for my small business. My t-shirts are called Comfort Colors Heavyweight RS and they are from JiffyShirts.com. You can get them other places, but that's where I get mine. I use Cricut products. Mine's called Cricut Explore Air 2. You will need Cricut mats to go along with that so that you can use it. I use Scissor Stretch HTV for my t-shirts. These are two Cricut tools that you will absolutely need if you are making stickers or t-shirts to peel off um, the excess or the stickers. If you make them, you know what I mean. This is a sticker paper I use. It's from Online Labels and it's called Weatherproof Matte. Right there. The printer I use is called the HP 6978, I believe. But honestly, you get what you pay for, so just any printer will do as long as it's pretty nice. I also use the Cricut Easy Press 2 9x9. To design, I use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator. Here's a day in the life of my small business. So turning on the light, grabbing my laptop, and I'm going to turn it on so I can print. There's the label maker, plug it in and hit print, and there it goes. So it's printing really fast. I love this little label maker. Makes my life easy. And now I'm sewing my weird face. Ignore it, but it's fine. So now my suede little label drawer won't open. Open there. Now it won't focus, but there's my little labels. I love them. Small business. Yay. Now there's more of my label cut. And now we go to rolling and we get to roll the blanket and we have one, two, three, four, five, six pyramid. Now I'm going to wrap up my tissue paper. It's my custom tissue maker because small businesses, you have to do it a lot. So then we go and raise that bow. And now there's me and done. Bought this because I saw it on TikTok. Pop it open, take the map out, roll it open, use the rubber bands to give it its form. There it is, the whole map of the United States. Here's some stickers, a magnifying glass, and a duster, and the scratcher. We're going to go ahead and uh, do Florida because that was my first sale. Beautiful. So this is going to be a video showing all the different models and what the cases look like. This is what the iPhone 5 slash 5S slash SE first generation look like. This is what the iPhone 6 cases look like. This is what the iPhone 7, 8, and SE 2020s look like. This is the 6 slash 6S plus. These are the 7 and 8 plus cases. These are the XRs in black and white. 
These are the iPhone X slash XS. This is the XS Max. These are the iPhone 11s. These are the 11 Pros. And this is the 11 Pro Max. One of the most important things I ever learned from any of my art internships was if you sell products, to have really great packaging. I sell handmade earrings and each of them comes with a handwritten note matching packaging and it's just an experience. I know everyone likes to include handwritten notes in their orders, but my Cricut does it for me. I come up with a design and design space. I change the material to paper. I load up the Cricut marker and close her up and hit go and allow the Cricut to do it for me. And while it's doing that, I am packing up the box. And once it's done, I have a neatly handwritten note. <laughs> Hey guys, let's pack an order. First thing I always do is lint roll the shirts and make sure they're extra clean. This customer is getting our mushroom tea and our strawberry moon phases tea, two of our best sellers. I just add a little note card and a sticker and then I put it in our recycled clear sleeves that just help protect the shirts while they are in the mail. And then I put this in our new Eco Enclosed Poly Mailer, which is recycled, recyclable, and reusable. And I'll make a video on that another day. And then I just add a little sticker and this one's going to Connecticut. Come package Isaiah's order with me. He got some chamoy sour patch watermelons, pineapple belts, an ollita, and some strawberry banana belts. I first check that everything he ordered is here so I can start boxing it. I am giving him a free gusano tamarindo. And I also wrote him a little thank you note. This order is going from California to Idaho. And the reason I don't bubble wrap the containers is because the containers are heavy duty, plus the new boxes that I got are extremely strong. The USPS does tend to sometimes just throw the packages, but so far all of our packages have arrived safely. Thank you for shopping with us, Isaiah, and I really hope you enjoy your order. Bye! Why is it spicy? So this drawer is where I keep most of my press on nail supplies. So at the front I've got all of my cuticle sticks, nail glues and nail files which all go into every prep kit for every set. Then behind that I've got a load of prep wipes which also go into every prep kit and a sweep which goes into every order. I've got a tape measure for measuring nail tips, some holographic bags which I obviously put the nails in and then some little clear plastic bags which I put spare nails in. Behind that I've got some mesh bags for all the packaging. 